Welcome to Council Connection. I'm Kim Baxter, Mayor and Durango City Councilor. This program is designed to give you a snapshot of happenings at the most recent Durango City Council meeting. This time we look at the May 18th meeting. Easing mask requirements as we ease out of the pandemic. That was just one topic in another busy City Council meeting. I'll have more in a moment. Our May 18th meeting began with a number of proclamations and presentations. The Durango VFW Post 4031 was presented a proclamation declaring May 26th through the 31st as Buddy Poppy Days. Proceeds from sales of the handmade poppies support disabled and needy veterans and surviving families. May was also proclaimed Asian Pacific American Heritage Month to raise awareness of challenges facing Asian and Pacific Islanders. And I'd like to take this opportunity to deliver a call to action and tell you all how you can be allies and support to AAPI and APIDA communities, APIDA being um, Asian Pacific Islander Desi American communities. First, learn and teach our history in schools. Recognize that Colorado has a fraught anti-Asian history and currently ranks the 13th highest in anti-Asian crimes and harassment in the US. Remember that the Chinese, along with the Irish, were responsible for the construction of the Durango Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad, the primary reason for, the which, for which the city of Durango exists. We also heard about an exciting new garden proposed for the Durango Public Library, the Literary Garden. If fundraising is successful, it will be built in front of the library building. We're calling it the Literary Garden because our goal here is to demonstrate that nature and often gardens in particular have inspired or been reflected in many of our favorite books, authors, uh, writers, poets, and artists. But we also hope to go further than that. We also want to introduce people through our signage, which will have like QR symbols and links to the library's website and our website to authors from literary traditions that many may not be as familiar with, including indigenous writers and storytellers, the oral tradition from the indigenous people, Latinx, and often other underrepresented cultural and literary traditions. Durango Botanic Gardens hopes to raise $120,000 to build the garden and already has a challenge grant of $25,000 they hope to match by mid-July. There are several ways you can donate to help out, including visiting their website, durangobotanicgardens.org. The consent agenda included nine items, the majority of which were approved, including one item appropriating $15,000 from the city for the new Botanic Park. One legislative public hearing concerned an LUDC amendment to allow RV sales in an already existing auto sales lot off of State Highway 3. There were two minor quasi-judicial hearings. One concerned the annexation and initial zoning of the Schozer property at 1715 Florida Road to facilitate the connection of Metz Lane to Florida. The other dealt with a right-of-way abandonment for a property at 301 West 2nd. All three were approved. During public participation, several individuals spoke out in favor of the city assisting residents of the Animus View Mobile Home Park in their purchase of the park. The proposal is to use $500,000 in city fair share program in lieu fees and a like amount from the Homes Fund to finance $1 million of the estimated $14 million purchase price. This would reduce each resident's annual payment by about $380 per year, keeping the cost of housing in the park in an affordable range. But there were concerns among counselors. Just don't understand it, why we're, we're moving this forward. I, I think the, the people that buy this place making a good decision for their own building of wealth and security in rent. But I think adding, uh, adding city funds to that is not uh, correct. I, I would kill this whole option uh, if I could. I think I just would like to get more clarification um, and really understand, understand exactly what we're doing here. And if ultimately it, it becomes, you know, a type of grant formation, I, I want to understand that too. I'm not saying I'm completely opposed to it. I want to understand it. After a lengthy discussion, we voted unanimously to direct staff to negotiate and finalize terms for the assistance with a possible final vote June 1st. 
Just hours before Durango's emergency mask ordinance expired at midnight May 18th, we adopted a resolution on face mask requirements. It supports the rights of individuals and businesses to be free to choose how to protect themselves from COVID-19. The resolution encourages vaccinations and urges residents and visitors alike to comply with other health or mask orders and honor requirements that individuals may impose for mask wearing. Here are some reminders about upcoming events. With the Memorial Day holiday coming, we want to remind you that trash and recycling schedules shift. Whenever a holiday falls on a Monday, pickups take place one day later than your regular pickup day. Also watch DurangoGov.org for a listing of all Memorial Day closures and schedule adjustments for May 31st. Lake Night Horse is now open daily, and it will be open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Memorial Day, featuring the new play structure, which is included in your cost of admission. On June 2nd, you can attend the EV truck event. This is sponsored by the Colorado Energy Office and the Four Corners Office of Resource Efficiency. There will be demonstrations and you can test drive medium duty electric trucks. Lastly, we want to thank Durango Public Information Specialist Mitchell Carter, who most of you know from his hosting public participation during city council meetings. After seven years with the city, Mitchell is moving on to bigger and better things. He will be missed. We wish you the best, Mitchell, and thanks for your contributions to this program and the city. Our next study session will be Tuesday, May 25th at 4 p.m. Our next regular council meeting is Tuesday, June 1st at 6.30 p.m. Agendas for meetings are posted at durangogov.org meetings. And that's Council Connection for the May 18th Durango City Council meeting. I'm City Councilor and Mayor Kim Baxter. Thanks for joining us, and remember you can always contact your city councilors via email at citycouncil at durangogo.org.